Uh, I hope you liked the intro. Yes, this is a wooden spoon and I'm using it as my microphone, but that's fine. Disregard that. If you can't already tell, the footage in the intro had like a dreamy look to it, and that's kind of what we're talking about today. How to give your footage that dream-like, dream state sequence look. Um, it's super, super easy. It should only take a couple minutes. So let's get right into it. We'll talk about some other things as we go, but let's start. The first thing we want to do is obviously bring it in Premiere Pro. That's what we're editing in today. But you can probably follow along in a similar method with other softwares if you know your software decently enough. Go ahead, duplicate the clip one on top of the other. You can hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and click and drag that, uh, that original clip on top of itself to make a duplicate. Once you do that, go to your effects panel, wherever that might be. Search for Luma Key, then search for Gosh and Borer. You can double click them to apply them to the clip. That's the duplicate one, by the way. Now that you have both on your footage, let's go ahead, first off, turn off the layer on the bottom, the original layer, just so we can see what we're working with and what we're doing to our footage. Turn it off. Now that it's off, go to Luma Key, crank it anywhere between 40 to let's say 80 ish 85 if you want the threshold is the only thing we're changing on the luma key effect in in this video obviously if you've watched my other videos which you can right here the one on bloom we change both the threshold and the cutoff as well as the gaussian blur very differently than we do in this video to get a very different effect but still has that hazy feeling so yes it might feel familiar that's why however it's not the same thing so stick around we can go ahead go to Gaussian blur make me push that to around 200 300 400 you know make it extremely blurry you can always back it off but you know go a little overboard at first find out what looks good to you and now you're going to be like ah oh, shit the footage doesn't look dreamy it looks dark and, and that's because we haven't turned back on the other layer so go ahead turn that old layer back on the original one underneath the duplicate the last step of this process is to go to our opacity area in the effects control panel choose your blend mode hit lighten and now you should be able to see your top clip has just like a foggy dreamy look to it if you would um, if you're not happy with this and let's say it's too intense or it's too blurry, back off the, you know, the controls, back off the threshold, back off the gosh and blur intensity, change it up to make it work for yourself. But if you like what you have there and then you want to maybe just lessen it a little bit, change your opacity, drop the opacity down to like 70%, play with it. You know, none of these numbers are exact for, for one. And two, any type of effect that we talk about on this channel is always going to be up to the discretion of you, the creator. Uh, and how it's going to apply to your own footage, I don't know. I can only give you advice and help you with what I have. But bam, you're done. You have that dreamy, highlighty, almost no contrast looking footage. And if you really want to take this a step further and kind of take like a film approach to it, you can always go ahead and watch my other videos, which are like here on halation and bloom. And you can add bloom to your footage and then add halation to an adjustment layer on top of that. You can get really creative with it and you can have footage that looks like this instead of just originally like this. Um, so you have options. So go ahead, watch those videos if you want to. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting the channel in 2023. 2024 is going to have big things changing, big things coming. We're about to hit 5,000 subscribers, which by the way, I don't know when that happened because in November I had like 500. So... All good things. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I hope you have a great new year. I'll see you soon. And yes, the wooden spoon is purely, hopefully, hopefully comical. Um, there's no value to the spoon. I could just technically hold, hold the microphone or put it to my shirt. But I feel like the spoon was a little bit more fun. I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to have some fun. Cheers. Cheers.